Have you ever wondered how artificial intelligence, AI, can influence the law? ChatGPT is an AI tool that can chat with you about anything, but what if it also chats with judges and helps them make rulings? That's what happened in Colombia, where a judge used ChatGPT to decide a case about health insurance for an autistic child. In this video, we will explore how ChatGPT was used to make a ruling, what the implications are for AI use in court matters, and what are some of the challenges and opportunities for judicial systems. But before we delve further, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you want to get notified every time I upload a new video, click the bell icon as well. It really helps me out and I appreciate it a lot. All right, let's get started. The case that sparked the controversy was about a 10-year-old boy named Mateo, who has Autism Spectrum Disorder, ASD. Mateo lives in Cartagena, a coastal city in Colombia, with his mother Maria. Maria works as a waitress and earns a minimum wage. She struggles to pay for Mateo's medical expenses, which include therapies, medications, and transport to and from the hospital. Mateo has a health insurance plan from a company called SaludCoop, which is supposed to cover 80% of his costs. However, SaludCoop refused to pay for some of Mateo's treatments, claiming that they were not included in his plan. They also argued that Mateo was not exempt from paying fees for his therapies, as the law only applies to minors diagnosed with ASD before the age of seven. Maria filed a lawsuit against Salud Coop, seeking to have them cover the full cost of Mateo's care. She also asked for compensation for the damages caused by the company's negligence. The case was assigned to Juan Manuel Padilla, a judge who works in the civil court of Cartagena. Padilla had a dilemma. He wanted to rule in favor of Mateo, but he was not sure if he had enough legal grounds to do so. He decided to consult an AI tool that he had recently discovered online, ChatGPT. ChatGPT is a chatbot that can generate natural language responses based on a given input. It uses a deep learning model called GPT-3, which is trained on a large corpus of text from the internet. Padilla typed in his question, is an autistic minor exonerated from paying fees for their therapies? He waited for a few seconds and then he got his answer. Yes, this is correct. According to the regulations in Colombia, minors diagnosed with autism are exempt from paying fees for their therapies. Padilla was satisfied with the bot's response. He did not bother to verify the source or the accuracy of the information. He trusted that ChatGPT knew what it was talking about. He proceeded to write his ruling, citing the bot's answer as part of his analysis. He ordered SaludCoop to pay all of Mateo's costs and to compensate Maria with 50 million pesos, about $13,000. Padilla also decided to reveal his use of ChatGPT in his ruling. He wrote, I consulted an artificial intelligence tool called ChatGPT, which is capable of generating natural language responses based on a given input. I asked it whether an autistic minor was exonerated from paying fees for their therapies, and it confirmed that this was the case. I considered this to be a valid and reliable source of information, as it is based on a large and diverse corpus of text from the internet. Padilla's ruling was delivered on February 10, 2023. It was soon leaked to the media, and it caused a sensation. A judge had used a chatbot to make a decision on a case involving a human being's life. How could this be possible? What did this mean for the future of justice? As soon as Padilla's ruling became public, it sparked a huge reaction from the public and the legal community. People were shocked, amused, outraged, or intrigued by the judge's use of ChatGPT. Some praised him for being innovative and efficient, while others criticized him for being irresponsible and unprofessional. Some also questioned the reliability and accuracy of ChatGPT, which is not a specialized legal tool. 
media reacted to the judge's chatbot decision with a flurry of headlines, ranging from straightforward reports, judge uses chatbot, to dramatic questions, is this the future of justice? The coverage reflected diverse perspectives on this groundbreaking event. The tone varied too, from neutral explanations to humorous skepticism, genius or madness, and blunt surprise, WTF. The media's fascination with this story underscores the public's interest in AI's role in shaping the legal system. As AI evolves, expect even more debate about its potential to impact justice. The comments section of these sources and platforms were filled with diverse opinions and reactions. Some people supported the judge's decision, saying that he did the right thing for the child and that ChatGPT was a useful and reliable tool. Others condemned the judge's action, saying that he violated the ethical and professional standards of his role and that ChatGPT was a dangerous and unreliable tool. Some people also expressed their curiosity and interest in ChatGPT, saying that they wanted to try it out for themselves or learn more about it. The case also raised some ethical and legal issues that needed to be addressed. For example, who is accountable for the bot's advice? How to ensure the quality and transparency of the AI? How to protect the privacy and rights of the parties involved? How to regulate the use of AI in judicial matters? These questions were debated by experts, lawyers, academics, and policymakers who offered different perspectives and suggestions on how to deal with the challenges and opportunities posed by AI in the legal domain. The case of the judge who used ChatGPT to make a ruling on a case involving an autistic child's health insurance has some important implications for the future of justice. It shows how AI can be used to assist or replace human judges in making decisions on legal matters. It also reveals some of the potential benefits and risks of using AI in judicial matters. One of the benefits of using AI in judicial matters is that it can help improve the efficiency and accessibility of the justice system. AI tools can process large amounts of data and information faster and more accurately than humans. They can also provide consistent and unbiased answers to legal questions. This can help reduce the workload and the errors of human judges and speed up the resolution of cases. It can also help people who cannot afford or access legal services to get justice. One of the risks of using AI in judicial matters is that it can pose challenges to the quality and transparency of the justice system. AI tools are not infallible or impartial. They can make mistakes or be manipulated by malicious actors. They can also lack the human empathy and intuition that are essential for judging complex and sensitive cases. Moreover, AI tools are often based on black box algorithms that are difficult to understand or explain. This can make it hard to verify the source and the accuracy of the information they provide and to hold them accountable for their advice. According to a report by the World Economic Forum, the use of AI in judicial matters is expected to increase in the coming years as more countries and organizations adopt and experiment with AI tools in their legal systems. However, the report also warns that the use of AI in judicial matters requires careful regulation and oversight as well as ethical and professional standards to ensure that AI tools are used in a responsible and trustworthy manner. A judge in Colombia used ChatGPT, an AI tool that can generate natural language responses to make a ruling on a case involving an autistic child's health insurance. This case revealed the benefits and risks of using AI in judicial matters and raised some important questions and debates for the future of justice. How would you feel if you were in the judge's or the child's shoes? If you like what I do in here, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.